trains and buses, games and songs. Come join us and sing along. Transit Talks is where I'll be, the coolest place in NYC. Welcome to Transit Talks. Hello, everyone. Welcome to Transit Talks. My name is Ben, and I work at the New York Transit Museum in Brooklyn, New York, where we think about all things transportation and how we move around our towns and cities. Now, today, as always, we have some fun activities to share with you all. We're going to learn about New York's very first subway train, and we'll discover that it was powered only by the air or the wind. We'll try a simple science experiment to show how this air-powered subway train worked, and we'll learn a new song all about that very first subway train, or as it was also known, the secret subway. But first, as always, let's settle in by wiggling together a little bit. Shall we try it on the count of three? One, two, three. I want you to wiggle. Shake your arms, shake your legs, wiggle all around, and stop. Good, let's try that one more time. One, two, three. I want you to wiggle. Up high, down low, really fast, really slow, and stop. Excellent wiggling. Okay, it's time for us to sing our hello song, which we do every time. If this is new to you, don't worry, it's very simple. Just follow me. I'll do it twice and join in when you're ready. Here we go. Hello, 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 and how are you? I'm happy, I'm happy, I hope that you are too. Hello, 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 and how are you? I'm happy, I'm happy, I hope that you are too. Good singing, everyone. Now, since today we're being scientists and trying a science experiment, shall we try that in the song? Now, experimenting is a very long word. I don't think it will fit in our song. But can we use a different word that means something similar? Shall we say testing? Let's try it together. Hello, 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 and how are you? I'm testing, I'm testing, I hope that you are too. Hello, 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 and how are you? I'm testing, I'm testing, I hope that you are too. Excellent singing. So the subway, which is the trains that run underground to New York City, it was built a long, long time ago and actually opened in 1904. But it wasn't the first underground train to be built in New York City. There was actually an even older train that was built a long, long time before that. And it was built by a person called Alfred Eli Beach. And many people called it the secret subway because Alfred didn't actually have permission to build it at the time, so he had to do it in secret. But when it opened and people started riding it, it was called the Beach Pneumatic Subway. And it was called pneumatic because it used the power of the air to make the train move. And pneumatic is just a fancy word meaning air powered, just like a windmill or a pinwheel uses air or the wind to make it move. Alfred Eli Beach's train worked in the same way. It was moved by a massive fan like you would have in the summer when it gets hot. And the fan blew lots of air really hard and really fast so that it made a whole train car and all the people inside the train car move through a tunnel. Now, can you imagine moving a subway train just by <gasps> blowing really hard? Do you think that would work today? I don't think so. But I'm going to show you a simple science experiment that you can do at home. And it shows that if we're able to capture and control the air and make it go in the direction we want to go in, we can indeed use the air to make things move. Let's find out how it's done. So here's what we'll need to conduct our pneumatic subway science experiment. We're going to use two kitchen sponges, a straw, a sealable sandwich or freezer bag, and finally a cotton ball. And it's actually the cotton ball that is going to be our train in this experiment. When we gather up all the materials, here's how they look. I'm using a reusable metal straw, but you can use a regular plastic straw if that's what you have. So we're going to start by using just one of our kitchen sponges. And we're using a kitchen sponge because not only is it really squishy, but it's full of air. There's lots of air trapped inside the sponge. And we're going to put our straw in between our two sponges and then we're going to place our sponges and our straw inside of our plastic bag like a ziploc bag or a freezer bag and that means that when we squish down on the sponges which are full of air all of the air is going to be trapped inside the bag and when we seal up the bag the only place for all that air to go is of course at the end of the straw 
So all the air inside the bag, all the air inside the sponges, when we press down on the sponges, it's gonna rush out the end of the straw. So we've got a nice controlled pneumatic system. Okay, now it's time for our experiment. We're gonna take our cotton ball, and as, as we said, the cotton ball is gonna represent our train. And we're gonna take our plastic bag with the sponges inside. That's gonna be like the fan in Alfred Eli Beach's uh, pneumatic subway that makes the air move and moves the train along. Okay, so we're gonna take our cotton ball and we're gonna point our straw at the cotton ball and we're gonna squish down really hard and where did it go? The cotton ball disappeared. It must have moved so fast that the camera didn't catch it. I think we're gonna have to slow that down. So here's our cotton ball. Here is our pneumatic system. We're gonna press down on the sponge and all of the air is gonna rush out the straw and aha, it makes the cotton ball move away from the straw. Let's watch that one more time. So again, the bag is full of air, the sponges are full of air, the only way to escape is out of the straw, so all of the air rushes out of the end of the straw. When it hits our cotton ball, it has enough energy to move our cotton ball forward, just like Alfred Eli Beach's subway train. So now that we've learned a little bit about the science behind Alfred Eli Beach's pneumatic subway and how it moved, I think I'd like to share a brand new song with you all that will tell us a little bit about the history or the story behind the train. And there are some simple ways that you can join in with the song. For example, when we hear the line, the wind it whooshed, can we make a <sighs> whooshing sound by blowing the air out really fast? <sighs> and you can even use your hand to show how that air is moving forward. <sighs> so that was the wind it whooshed. And then after that, we'll hear the air it pushed. And we can push our hands forward as if we are the air pushing Alfred Eli Beach's train forward. And then in the next part, we'll hear the words, the wind it blows. And we can use the same <sighs> blowing action again. <sighs> the wind it blows. And then finally, the train it shows. So there, we can hold up, perhaps it's a map or a diagram. Maybe it's the results of our science experiment. And we can point to the results so that we can show everyone just how that train works and how we know the science behind it. Okay, are you ready to give the song a try? Here we go. Now once there was a man, his name was Alfred Eli Beach. And Alfred had a plan to put a train beneath the streets. But Alfred's brand new train, it would not use horses nor would it use steam. Because a pneumatic subway was his dream. Okay, here we go. And the wind it whooshed, and the air it pushed. That little train forward, like a new it would. And when the wind it blows, when the train it shows, you can build a subway when no one knows. Now, Alfred didn't really have permission. Because Big Boss Tweed, he said that subways would not be allowed. And so his train, it became a secret mission. But soon the secret subway drew a crowd. All right, here we go again. And the wind it whooshed, and the air it pushed. That little train forward, like he knew it would. And when the wind it blows, when the train it shows, you can build a subway when no one knows. Have you ever heard of the secret subway? Did you ever wonder where it goes? I wonder what became of the secret subway, if anybody even knows. And soon Alfred's subway was forgotten. Undergrounded lay, hidden for nearly 40 years. But the next time you feel the breeze blow through the BMT City Hall station, spare a thought for a subway pioneer. Okay, here we go. And the wind it whooshed, and the air it pushed, that little train forward, like a new it would. And when the wind it blows, when the train it shows, you can build a subway when no one knows. Have you ever heard of the secret subway? Did you ever wonder where it goes? 
Riding on the breeze that blows beneath Broadway Where the traffic always flows Okay, last time everyone The wind it pushed And the air it pushed This little train forward Like a new it moved The last one When the wind it blows When the train it shows You can build a subway Where no one knows So did you all enjoy singing the song about the secret subway? Fantastic. So unfortunately we're coming towards the end of our time together at Transit Tots today. But let's just remind ourselves of all the things we've done together today. In the beginning we got to wiggle together and sing our hello song. Then we learned a little bit about the story behind the secret subway or Alfred Beach's pneumatic subway. Then we did a science experiment to show how the secret subway worked and we sang a song that told us a little bit more about the story of the secret subway. So that's it for today from Transit Tots. I hope you've had a good time dancing, singing along with us. And we hope to see you next time for more songs, games and activities. Until next time. Trains and buses, games and songs. Come join us and